What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be analyzing my favorite yield max ETF here. So I just wanted to take a look at the list. They posted this on their X account the other day. So this is pretty interesting. Total return wise, Navidi is the best. And then there's a couple of garbage ones at the bottom here. Murney, 30% and it's been out for almost a year now. So that's that's really not good especially with indexes up 20% in that time frame. You don't want to be in that. My favorite, oh, Misty, also 110% out since February. My favorite, though, we're going to dive in deep to this one. We're going to be looking at their financials. Their earnings are coming up. Phoebe, so they've been out for a little bit over a year now. And their total return as of last week is 54%. This one's my favorite, especially out of the Meg 7 stocks. By far, it's one of the more volatile ones. So Yield Max is making a lot of premium off those options that they're selling. So let's take a look. I just want to clarify this though. My portfolio is over 40% invested in Meta currently right now. FBL is basically just... 2x meta shares so we got 27 percent of the portfolio in that right now that one i actually bought just last month and that etf i guess you could call it is already up 40 percent for me so it's been killing it and then we got 15.2 percent in phoebe for the income of course to help pay off that margin loan so let's take a look at phoebe and their their uh their earnings that are coming up so before we begin, Q3 earnings for Meta is coming up very soon in a couple weeks here. And I think it's going to be really good because of U.S. election ad spend. So the election is obviously next month, but they have been spending a lot in this quarter on election ad spend. Right here it says record-breaking 2024 U.S. political ad spend. So it's they're spending a lot and a lot of that money is going straight to Meta which is very bullish for us. You know, usually we have a good Q3. Usually Q4 is our strongest, but Q3, I think this time is going to be absolutely record-breaking for Meta. So initially looking at the stock here, it's been on a tear this past month. This is was around the time I bought into the 2X version FBL right here at 501 Meta was. And now we're up 16%. My 2X version is up even more. If we look at the PE, it is getting a little bit high here at 30. But the earnings are going to tell a different story. They're growing even faster than their competitor. Google is forward PE is 24. And it can be very well much lower. And you'll see why in the earnings when we look at them. EBITDA right here, even lower. 20 and i can tell you this should be around 16 17 if it weren't for the vr business that's losing a couple billion every single quarter if you add that back into the earnings yes the EBITDA should be a lot lower plus right now meta is investing a lot of money into their data centers with gpus they're improving their ai meta ai so they're spending a lot of money and investing a lot into the business right now. And their earnings are still phenomenal. So let's take a look at those earnings right now. They're also buying back a lot of shares as they continue to do so. And their operating cash flow is just very nice right there. $78 billion on a market cap of $1.5 trillion. So that's another good thing. Their market cap is lower than Google so they can easily grow that much more google's market cap here is 2.06 trillion so a double up for meta right now would make them a three trillion dollar company here's my favorite though just looking at their revenue 22 percent. this is the second quarter earnings up 22 percent. cost and expenses only up seven percent and their income or otherwise known as earnings is up 58 percent. so their margins are also expanding despite investing so much into their AI and losing money on their other business, which is the, the VR 
type of business. All right, now, and just looking at the IV because that's how Phoebe kind of generates their premium. If the IV is high, we are getting more premium. This is like if you're investing in QDTE right here, the Qs, their 30-day IV is 18.7. So let's check out Amazon now. A lot of these companies are going to be affected by earnings because all of them have earnings coming up. Usually they're more or less in the 20s. So Amazon, 37.2. That's a good IV. We are getting some good premiums. Usually that's kind of what Tesla is at. You know, Tesla normally, even without earnings, is like 37 to even 60 sometimes meta 44.8 so even with earnings right now we're getting more premium inside of phoebe than amazon or we can simply put those strikes out further because we have a higher iv than amzi or amazon check out google main competitor to meta we got 32.7 so that's why google or uh gui usually doesn't have that high of a distribution because their iv is less therefore the premiums are less on that one so this is a, a big reason why i like meta a lot because the options are a lot more juicy on meta therefore we get more income inside of phoebe now you might be asking why we have a higher iv well, Zuckerberg, just like Elon Musk over Tesla, he has a lot of power over the company. So he can easily make a decision. You know what? We're going to start investing heavily into VR again. And the earnings projections are going to go a lot down. Versus Amazon, you know, it's kind of hard to make decisions. It's a huge company. The CEO doesn't own much shares. He can't really steer the company as fast as Zuckerberg can. Zuckerberg can with that wheel around easily for amazon if they want to make a big decision they need a lot more people involved there same with google they're just a bigger company so that is why and you could say that's a good thing or it could very well be a, be a risk but if we look at the revenues compared to amazon and google meta is growing the revenues and earnings a lot faster so looking at phoebe now last distribution was definitely a lot lower than we all thought they're getting declared next week along with nvidia so i'm going to try predicting the distribution here just for fun but you know their highest one was a dollar 17 i think we could easily break that one with this next distribution so if you want to get in i suggest getting in fast especially with the earnings run up this thing is just going to keep going up not financial advice of course last distribution 53 cents i still like that though all right so let's check the total return for the past month here so total return for phoebe since september 5th is 13 percent. we made a crazy run on phoebe here this past month 9.89 percent. that's excluding the the little distribution we got here so we're above 20 dollars again above inception price i'm predicting an 80 percent distribution for this month on phoebe with a record-breaking dollar thirty-seven per share, this is a this is going to be a very good distribution, and I think it's going to recover fast, especially if Meta has those record-breaking earnings. So, what do you guys think of Phoebe? Are you going to get in it? Do you have any Meta shares as well? Let me know. This is also just a little shout out to the two X Meta long shares. As you can see, look at that on Friday up four point four seven percent. In the past month here we are up 33.7 percent this etf is very liquid too you can sell covered calls on it as well and it has a cheaper share price so easier to get those hundred shares to be able to, to be able to sell covered calls on right now meta and this is definitely the investment that i have the most conviction in right now so let me know what you guys think make sure you like the video subscribe i'll see you guys later thanks for watching